What is going on? What is popping YouTube world? My name is Jamar McKinney, or you can just call me Juice because that is my nickname. I appreciate you guys for watching today. Be sure to smash this like button right about now as it does help these videos get out to the public and my channel to grow overall. Subscribe to the channel if you're new as well. I do post a ton of great sports videos weekly, and I watch every single day if I can, and turn on post notifications too, so you don't miss a single one of those videos that I post. It's only right, you guys. This season, we are learning a lot about Jared Goff. We are learning a lot about Sean McVay. We are learning a lot about this Rams team and this Rams organization overall. I want to really focus on Jared Goff in this video, but I want to talk about the Rams really quickly and just give my thoughts to them. Listen, I told them, I said I said to you guys in the offseason that the, that the Rams are overrated. They're not making the playoffs, and so far it looks like I'm right. The Rams, to me, I don't think they're getting. I don't think they are getting into the playoffs. They could pr prove me wrong, but again, I don't see it. They're not a playoff team. Dallas is better. You know, when I look at Seattle, they're better. Green Bay's better. San Francisco's better. Heck, they're the third best team in their own division. Seattle and San Francisco are better football teams than the Rams. Minnesota's even better right now. Now, I would trust Jared Goff over Kirk Cousins in a playoff game, but as far as a roster standpoint, as far as from a roster standpoint, I think Minnesota's better. I said they were going to miss the playoffs. The reasons why was because I felt Todd Gurley's arthritis in his knees was really going to hurt this team. I felt that Todd Gurley was not that guy. If he was not that engine and spark plug that he was a year ago, they weren't going to win. So far, check. Inconsistent defense. The defense has been fixed, but the offense has gone down a lot. Listen, it's hard to be a great offense back-to-back -back years. The Rams were the number one scoring offense last year. They have plummeted this year. You know, I was worried about their depth. Their depth is not very good. I was worried about the offensive line. The offensive line goes from being one of the five best offensive lines to one of the five worst offensive lines. This offensive line is terrible. And then lastly, Jared Goff. That's what it brings me to. All in doubt, if you have a bad offensive line, if you have an inconsistent team, inconsistent running game, your receivers aren't getting open as much, if you have that elite quarterback, you can win. And Jared Goff is not elite. Jared Goff has disappointed me this year. He has disappointed me. You know... I don't think Jared Goff's terrible. I really don't. I actually believe in Jared Goff. I really do. I said last year that Jared Goff was going to be, was going to outplay Tom Brady in the Super Bowl. I really felt that Jared Goff, who, who outplayed Drew Brees in the Superdome in New Orleans, was going to outplay Tom Brady in the Super Bowl and win. It didn't happen, obviously. But Jared Goff, to me, he's one of the 13 to 10 best quarterbacks in football. You can win a Super Bowl with Jared Goff. Now, I think it's more in question now than it was about a year ago. But, you know, listen, Jared Goff's not Aaron Rodgers. He's not that talented of a thrower. He's not Lamar Jackson. He's not even Deshaun Watson, in my opinion. You know, you're going to get B to A minus level play from Jared Goff at the quarterback position each week, okay? If you want to grade him on a scale, I would say you get B to A minus quarterback play from Jared Goff week to week. Okay, he outplayed Drew Brees last, last year in the Superdome. He outplayed Patrick Mahomes last year. Jared Goff, he can play. We know that. And it's been shown. When you put a real team around Jared Goff, he can get you to a Super Bowl. The Rams last year were probably the best team in football. To me, they were better than the Saints. To me, they were, the be they were better than the Patriots. The Rams were a loaded team. But see, the problem with Jared Goff is the Rams paid this man a lot of money in the offseason. And again... That shows that they trust Jared Goff. And I, I personally think that Jared Goff warranted getting that money. Anytime you go to a Super Bowl in your third season and you put the numbers Jared Goff has put up ever since they got rid of Jeff Fisher, you at least should warrant that to some degree. But see, the thing about Jared Goff is they're paying him a lot of money. What that means is they're not going to have a whole lot of, of cap space to re-sign all their great players, to go out and get free agents consistently to improve the team. So when you pay your quarterback a lot of money, you're gonna have you're gonna have times where the offensive line is not great, and this year that's the case. Maybe Cooper Cup maybe Cooper Cup gets hurt like he did last year. Cooper Cup was hurt last year. Jared Goff's numbers fell off a cliff. Todd Gurley no longer a lead running back. Oh, Jared Goff can pick up the slack. Nope, not the case this year. My thing with Jared Goff is when you put real parts around him. See, Jared Goff and Dak Prescott are really similar to me in this sense. When you put a real team around Dak Prescott, the guy's gonna go to the playoffs and maybe win a playoff game or two. When you put a real team around Jared Goff, he can get you to a Super Bowl. That's the difference. Jared Goff and Dak Prescott are very similar, but Goff is better. He's more talented. Jared Goff and Dak Prescott are two quarterbacks that cannot carry a bad team. It's just it's literally been proven up to this point. You know, 
bad offensive line. Todd Gurley, not the same running back. Jared, you know, Sean McVay, not as creative. This year, Jared Goff is completing 60% of his passes, 11 touchdowns to 10 interceptions. His yards per attempt are down. And it was you can make the argument last year, just based off his performance last year, Jared Goff was one of the five best quarterbacks last year. He put up that good of numbers. And again, I think the Rams trust him. But this year is really concerning to me. Hit, listen, 60% completion percentage, 11 touchdowns, 10 interceptions. That's not a top 10 quarterback. And in order to win a Super Bowl today with teams like Seattle, Green Bay, New Orleans, all these good elite teams, even the AFC, with Lamar Jackson, with Patrick Mahomes, with Deshaun Watson, quarterback play, I can make the argument we're in the golden age of quarterback play. Quarterbacks have never been, never been better, guys. They've never been better. You need great quarterback play in order to win a Super Bowl. This is not even top 20 level quarterback play from Jared Goff this year. Jared Goff's been terrible. And I think the Rams trust him because they traded for Jalen Ramsey. What that means is, look, they're going to have to pay Jalen Ramsey and make him the highest paid quarterback on the market. And like I said earlier, Jared Goff is going to have to make up those holes for a bad offensive line, for a bad defense, for a bad running game consistently if this team's going to want to win. And again, I don't think he has to be Mahomes or Rodgers or Russell Wilson or Deshaun Watson, but he, he at least needs to be close, and that's very concerning this year. And, you know, I feel like Jared Goff is on a trajectory that Matt Ryan is on for his career, okay? That can be a good thing, and that can be a bad thing. And I'll explain myself why. To me, Jared Goff is Matt Ryan, but a little bit more talented. I believe in Jared Goff more than I believe in Matt Ryan. And if you want to know my thoughts on Matt Ryan, I think Matt Ryan is a talented quarterback. He's probably going to the Hall of Fame. But as of right now, Matt Ryan is the most overrated quarterback in the NFL to me right now. That's just my opinion. That's my opinion. I'll get to some things in a little bit. But let's just look at the reasons why I feel Jared Goff is on that Matt Ryan trajectory. Matt Ryan, if he plays for another five, six years, he's good. Look, right now, Matt Ryan is already 11th all-time in touchdown passes, okay? Right now, Matt Ryan is top 10 in passing yards of all time. We're talking all-time status. He's 11th right now in touchdown passes, top 10 in passing yards. The guy has never hurt. He never misses starts. Matt Ryan consistently is healthy. He's won an MVP before. I don't think it's out of the question that, you know, that Jared Goff potentially could win an MVP one year. I think Jared Goff for one year can be the best quarterback in football. He's talented enough. Matt Ryan's talented enough to where, for one season, he can be the best quarterback in football. Especially with, you know, Sean McVay being Jared Goff's offensive coordinator. You know, I think Jared Goff can win an MVP to some degree. You know, Jared Goff, this, these last two seasons, has thrown 60 touchdown passes, okay? The past two seasons, up to this year, he's thrown 60 touchdown passes and had a pass rating of over 100, okay? You're not a scrub if you put up those numbers, okay? And Matt Ryan has made the playoffs. He's made the playoffs year in and year out. But has he really? You know, Jared Goff, if he misses the playoffs this year, he's been in the league four years. He's missed the playoffs twice. He's made the playoffs twice. How ironic is it, is it that Matt Ryan, who's been starting for 12 years in his career, has missed the playoffs six times and made the playoffs six times? He's batting 500 as far as making the playoffs each year. And Matt Ryan is four or six in the playoffs and never won the big game. He choked in that Super Bowl. I actually feel bad for Matt Ryan because had Matt Ryan gotten that Super Bowl versus Tom Brady, he might be a top 10, top five quarterback of all time when it's all said and done. He might be because when you look at Matt Ryan's numbers, if you had a blindfold and did not know Matt Ryan's resume, if you did not know Matt Ryan choked away at Super Bowl, you look at his all time numbers by the time his career is over, that screams a top 10 quarterback. And I really do firmly believe that Jared Goff is on that same trajectory. Jared Goff, if he plays another 15 to 20 years, is going to be top 10 in passing yards and passing touchdowns and break some records. He probably will win an MVP one season. That's some Hall of Fame type stuff. But can you win big with Jared Goff? You know, the thing about Matt Ryan is that he's not that quarterback that can make it for a team's deficiency. He's not elite. He's never been elite. And that's my beef with Jared Goff. I do not think Jared Goff will ever be consistently elite. And to some degree, that might be okay. But to some, some degree, that might not be okay with the Rams. Because I think Jared Goff is going to consistently be a top 10 quarterback throughout his entire career. I think Jared Goff for the next 10 years, he's going to be in the top 10 consistently. But will he ever be that guy come postseason time? Will he ever be able to elevate you? 
And is he ever going to win big? Because so far, I don't know. Now, I think Jared Goff, personally, is sort of clutch. I really do. In the Super Bowl, he threw the ball to Brandon Cooks. Brandon Cooks drops the ball. There was clearly pass interference. That's not Jared Goff's fault. As bad as Jared Goff played in the Super Bowl, he delivered that clutch pass to Brandon Cooks that he dropped. Had Brandon Cooks caught that ball, that's a totally different game. So Jared Goff, he was inexperienced. And again, when you make the Super, when you make the Super Bowl in your third year, that's pretty impressive. But again, Jared Goff, for all the numbers that he's going to put up, for all the times that he's going to, you know, put up numbers, is he going to be that guy? Is he going to consistently be able to carry this team? Is he going to be able to consistently make up for the inefficiencies of the Rams? I'm not so sure if he can do that year to year. And again, when we talk about Matt Ryan, as I mentioned, Matt Ryan, he potentially is going to be a top five to top 10 quarterback statistically of all time by the time his career is over. Maybe Jared Goff is on that trend. I think Jared Goff's on that trend. He's going to put up numbers if he stays healthy. But how many times is Matt Ryan going to be brought up on the all-time list? How many Super Bowls is Matt Ryan going to win? Zero. Matt Ryan's never getting back to another Super Bowl, guys. He's never going to win big. He blew his one opportunity. How many times is Dan Marino brought up as being the GOAT? Never. How many times is Phillip Rivers brought up? Never. How many times is... You know, I'm talking about all-time status of a quarterback. When we talk about the all-time greats, Tony Romo, Dan Marino to some degree, just because his talent is so superior to everyone else. But Tony Romo, Phillip Rivers, players like Jim Kelly, Cam Newton, Donovan McNabb, Steve McNair, who put up numbers, who've been good, but never won big. They're never going to be brought up in that all-time status as far as talking about quarterback. And I feel like that Jared Goff is on that trajectory. And it's not good. Kyler Murray and Jimmy G and Russell Wilson are in Jared Goff's division. It's going to be tough sledding for Jared Goff for years to come because I think that Kyler Murray and Russell Wilson by far are more talented than Jared Goff and Jimmy G has the same amount of intangibles as Jared Goff. And again, I think that I think you can win a Super Bowl with Jared Goff, but I feel less more confident saying that than I did last year because it's been proven. When you put a real team around Goff, like I said, he can go to a Super Bowl, but can he win it? I don't know. And again, he has Sean McVay. <laughs> he's not Mahomes. He's not Wilson. Again, I just don't know. I don't know. I don't think that Jared Goff is... Look, I, I'm saying that Jared Goff is on Matt Ryan's trajectory for his career just based off the numbers he's going to put up, just based off the, the fact he might win an MVP. But no one's ever going to probably talk about Jared Goff until he wins big. And I don't know quite now if he can win big. If I had to bet my money right now, is Jared Goff going to get a Super Bowl? I'm just going to say yes. I'm going to say Jared Goff gets at least one Super Bowl with Sean McVay, with the infrastructure of the Rams. He's going to have opportunities. But he's, but he's going to have to be that guy. Because with Sean McVay, he'll figure out the offense. He'll find a way to fix the offensive line. The defense now is pretty good with Rams. So now this is all on golf. Okay? So is Jared Goff going to be Matt Ryan or is he, he going to be better? Because Matt Ryan, as good as he's been, Matt Ryan choked away a 28-3 lead in the Super Bowl. He choked at home versus Colin Kaepernick in the playoffs. He only scored two points versus Eli Manning in a playoff game. Aaron Rodgers steamrolled him in his third season. Aaron Rodgers in his third season starting steamrolled Matt Ryan at home. Matt Ryan lost to Nick Foles, okay, in the playoffs. As good as Nick Foles was in the playoffs, that's not great for your resume. So again, I believe in golf. I think golf can win a Super Bowl, but I feel less confident saying that today. Jared Goff right now is not an elite quarterback. He's not even close. He's going to have to play better. He's going to have to make up for the bad offensive lines, the bad defenses, the inefficiencies of this team in order for this team to really prosper. Can he do it? We shall see. Be sure to comment where you agree with me and disagree with me. Love to hear what you guys have to say in the comment section. Thank you guys so much for tuning into this video today. Be sure to smash this like button right now if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you're new as well. I do post a ton of great sports videos weekly and almost every single day if I can. A fun fact about me is I want to go into the sports broadcasting and media world. I want to become one of the next great sports broadcasters and analysts out in the world. Kind of like Colin Cowherd, Steve A. Smith, Shannon Sharp. You get the point. Okay, I want to do sports, television, and radio for a full living once I graduate from the University of Toledo, a college in Northern Ohio. 
Ohio. I currently am a freshman there right now. So the best thing you guys can do to just help me continue to grow as a young broadcaster is to just share this channel with all your friends because potentially if this channel really, really gets somewhere, I want to start my own network, okay? You know, or potentially if it doesn't, you know, or if I fall a little bit short, I want to go into a big time network like ESPN or Fox Sports 1. So the best thing you guys can do to just flat out just help me grow as a broadcaster help me learn you know get other people hit to this channel you know just share this channel with all your friends share this channel on facebook share it on twitter share it on instagram all that good stuff also be sure to follow me on all my social media platforms and once again guys just share this channel with everyone you know get everyone hipped and watching these videos get my voice out there and heard share it on facebook share it on twitter share it on instagram all that good stuff it's been your boy jamai mckinney or you can just call me juice i appreciate all you guys for tuning in today i really do have a god blessed day stay motivated you guys and i'm out